systems have reactivated. Everything is okay. All the maintenance systems for the Algo environment are properly working. Well, we've been through a lot, but I guess we've solved everything. Wait! Look at that! The snowstorm hasn't stopped. Well, has the control system for Desolus been restored? Yes, everything is in working order. I told you! Didn't I tell you that was the Gruberg Tower that was the cause? The demons that live in the Gruberg Tower are creating the blizzard! Hello and welcome to another episode of Fantasy Star 4. My name is Martyr and thank you for joining us. If you weren't here last time, we um, kind of cleared the system of this manifestation, I guess you could say. This monster. And um, it, we uh, supposedly fixed the system, but it, it didn't fix the system on Dezolus. So we still have a bit of a problem that the uh, ice is still building up. It's going to wipe out the human the people of Dezola. So we're on our way to go back there and try to figure out what's going on. Get the environmental systems back under control. Not really much else to note. I really didn't do anything in between the videos off camera. Really isn't much else to note. I didn't mean to skip that, but whatever. And, uh, we, well, we did get one thing. We got the Ice Digger from Rin. He gave us the Ice Digger. He's like, here you go. It's pretty useful, I think. Use it to your advantage. And I'm like, thanks, Ren. He's like, you're welcome. So... There it is. There's the ice digger. Another thing you want to note really quick right here is I'm probably going to re-equip um, Ren with a pulse laser here, and you'll see why in a little while. Mostly because I think it'll be more easier to strike multiple enemies. So we're going to go here east of, I think, this town, the, the town that we were in earlier, which name is, I think it's like Rion or something like that. And there we go. We're back to these annoying enemies of fighting these enemies in the tank again. And the Ice Digger! So, my... Well, I, this reminds me of the Terradrome from... Uh, not the Terradrome, but that thing that Shredder used to drive around in to fight the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> it had that big drill in front of it. Totally a ripoff of that, but whatever. <laughs> but yeah. Rico leveled up. Sweet! So yeah, we have to find out what's going on with the environmental systems and get those fixed, but first we found a town... And we're gonna go. There's a giant ass penguin! What the heck? No irregularities, are you crazy? Oh, it's so cute! Rune, do you think it's cute? Uh, not really. Its feathers are flat and not as nice as my hair. Rune, do you ever have anything nice to say? No, not really. Oh, it's a green chick. She's like, hello, welcome and stay at the inn. We will anal probe you later. And I'm like, I don't want to be anal probe. And Rune's like, I'm down for it. Apparently this town has a bunch of penguins in it. Look at that! I there's a I don't know what the heck is going on here. There's this guy. Make the Dazelles Penguin a part of your group for today. The Dazelles Penguin will walk around town with you. It's only 500 bucks. Hell yeah! I want this penguin to walk around with me. If I exit town or go inside a house, it'll leave. But you know what? Now we got a giant penguin for our party. Right there. That totally makes it worth it. I don't care. That was worth every penny. That is just so awesome. These things are freaking adorable. Apparently they just say the same thing over again. But that is freaking adorable. Who doesn't want a giant oversized penguin following them? Not a single person on this planet doesn't want a giant oversized penguin following them. Alright, I'll stop screwing around. Uh, we got some items here. New item shops. Look at this. Flame Sword, Thunderclaw, Torn Dagger, and a Dream Rod. Alrighty then. We'll buy some of those really quick. Two of these for Rika. We have plenty of cash. And what the heck, a flame sword for Chaz, right? Why not, right? It's not like I don't have the money. Uh, do I need to sell anything? I really do need to sell some stuff. Because, well, I'm not going to lie to you guys. I have too much crap. I have just too much crap on me, guys. I'm sorry. You're going to need to sit here and watch me sell crap. I'm going to sell some of these repair kits because while they're great, they really haven't been much of a point. So... We're going to just get rid of those, and there we go, and that, and we only need one escape pipe, so might as well sell the other one. There we go, alright. Everyone could equip their new stuff. Let's do that really quick. Ren, Chaz, here's your new flame sword. It's a flaming sword, Chaz. So, let's see, Arika, you got some thunder thunder. Wait, isn't she like a cat? Is that a joke? 
Is that a Thundercats joke? I think it may be. Thunder. Thunder. Thundercats. You know what I'm talking about. Who doesn't love Thundercats? Uh, I think that's pretty much it for all this tent. Wait, there was an armor shop in there. Did I check that out? No, I did not. I was being stupid. Oh, and a phantom robe. All right. Hopefully it doesn't have uh, that kid from Star Wars up it. You know what I'm talking about, that little annoying kid. Annie. And the reason I'm not buying Raja one is apparently, uh, well, I, I know something you don't, as it were. So let's go check out the item shop here. Anything in here interesting, buddy? You got anything? Hello? Pengu feed! Costs 800 bucks. You know what? I'm a little cheap right now, so I'm not going to do that. <laughs> So, I don't know what exactly our goal is. We've beaten Dark Force, but Delsilis is not recovering. I've been telling you, the problem lies in Gorvok Tower. In any event, I do acknowledge that there's a need to investigate Dezolis. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's go. Hmm, the Gorvok Tower. Okay. I guess that's where we're heading, the Gorvok Tower? I don't really know. Maybe there's like a... Maybe there's something else we can investigate first. Let's go this way. There's some more mountains there that we need to plow through, so we'll do that really quick. We gotta figure out a way to fix the environmental system here on Raja's planet, otherwise he's gonna get all butt hurt. <laughs> so I don't really remember where we go from here. What I accidentally I just accidentally retreated like a noob. And, whoa, what we got over here? What is this? What is this? The climate center. Whoa. Uh, we just gotta fight just by walking into this place. I'm scared. I'm gonna kill him. Die. I'm guessing this is probably like a side quest area. I'm not really sure, 100%. <laughs> I used to spark. That was stupid of me. Oh, and he just belched on Rune. Totally vomited on him. That's what I meant to use. He used his flare. So, let's see. You know what, Chaz? You have plenty of these. So why don't you use one Chris... Cr Chris cut. Cross cut. <laughs> Chris Cut Fries are delicious, by the way. If they anybody has some Chris Cut Fries, please send them to me. There will be an address. No, I'm just joking. There's no description on them. <laughs> oh, good lord. Oh, my god. Oh, good grief. Okay, well, this guy's a little stronger than we predicted. Maybe I should stop screwing around and take this a little bit more seriously, huh? Holy crap. Roger just dropped dead. <laughs> He's like, ow! What happened? My balls hurt! And I'm like, Raja, you have balls? He's like, of course I have balls! <laughs> Okily dokily. Um. You know what? Let's take this guy a little bit more seriously. Let's cast Blessing, and we need some defense from this thing. Wouldn't be hilarious if it just dropped dead right now. Just, you know. Again, I'm pretty sure I'm still pretty high level for the um, scenario right now. That was beautiful. I didn't take a single point of damage there. I think I'm just going to have them attack because I think they're probably... If I remember correctly, there's two bosses in this place. So actually, we're going to hold off on certain attacks here. That's why I'm not using Ray Blade to just rip this guy apart. And I know what you're thinking. Hey, Marta, why don't you just go back to town and rest? And the answer to that is that I'm lazy. So, there you go. <laughs> We're going to have him recover, and everybody else continue doing what they were doing. She is going to switch to just plain attack, plain attack, plain attack. I know I'm approaching this very overconfidently, but I don't think this guy is going to be that tough to defeat. Oh, God. You know what? I realized I didn't heal Raja. <laughs> maybe that would have been a good idea, huh? Maybe just maybe just a little bit, Marker. Oh, you're letting me die. Oh, Raja stayed dead. Oh well. This seems to be the control system for the Dizolian climate. The monsters must have making, been making a nest. As we suspected, this must be the cause of the abnormal weather. Let's investigate. It's of no use. I've been tell he's telling us from beyond the grave. He's currently dead, but whatever. The cause of the snowstorm lies in the Gerberg Tower. Um, it's pretty impressive he's talking to us, even though he's unconscious. I'm so sorry, Raja. <laughs> I've let you down, but it's okay because you can heal yourself and well really nobody else took any damage in that fight, so 
Thanks, buddy. Uh, we're gonna go follow the glowing lights right away because I'm pretty sure some treasure. Oh boy, here we go. We remember these guys, right? There's all these monsters. Good grief. Ow. If this is gonna be like anything like the last place we were with Demi, this is gonna be a friggin' nightmare. So, let's see if we can get through this quickly, shall we? I think I... I'm glad I equipped him back with the pulse laser so we can hit more than one person. Oh, balls. Maybe I should just use all my spells to get through this place and then come back? I don't really know. We'll try to get through this place as fast as possible together, though. So let's do that. Die, you weird green frog-looking things. Chaz just leveled up. Super sweet. Oh, my God. I literally walked like five feet before they attacked me. What the hell? That's not cool, yo. We're gonna have everyone focus on one there. And hopefully a spark will kill another one. This is just like the dungeon with Demi. Monsters out the butt. Who do extreme monsters out the butt. Um, who do an extreme amount of damage. And Rune just dropped it. <laughs> what is going on here? What the heck? Party members are dropping like flies. He's like, ow. Oh, I must have defeated myself somehow. I just didn't see that coming. I don't know what happened. And Chaz's like, you got your ass kicked. <laughs> oh, great. Another repair kit. That was totally worth it. You know what I'm going to do, guys? I'm just going to head up the elevator and spare you the pain of having to watch me collect treasure, shall we? I, I think I f feel like I've seen these robots before. Hmm. <laughs> Dude, this thing was in a I think it was gray last time I fought it this weird disc looking thing Raja leveled up we got Gisar which I'm guessing is kind of like some sort of a healing group spell um, you know what I'm lazy so yes do that everybody else kill excellent that's what I like to see so yeah, not much of an ex terribly exciting episode. It's one of those episodes again with a side dungeon. Fantasy Star is full of these, I'm sorry. But you know, hey, this is how you get money and experience. You can't really complain. I don't know if I'm going the right way. I'm assuming I am. This seems all very, um... One path oriented. I'm sure I'm missing something. I just hit the group attack. I should have used Spark. My bad. Oh well. Oh, good grief, they rid hit ridiculously hard, and they don't seem to hit, like to hit the guy in front. I'm very upset with the person that said put the tanks in front, because they lied to me. They're liars! They're liars, all. Oh. So. Um, I think right is a treasure chest. Yeah, I was right. We got another repair kit! Yay! That's what I wanted. Not really. It's okay, because I think we're making pretty decent speed here. Because I want to get the side dungeon over with. And show you some pretty cool stuff instead of this crappy side dungeon stuff. So yeah, I've been thinking about future RPGs I can play. and I, I've been trying to figure, figure out which one to play for you guys. And I'm stuck between, um, I think, two of them. I'm stuck, I'm stuck between Final Fantasy VI... And I forget what the other one was. I'm not really sure what the other one was. Like, there was another one I was stuck between. I don't really remember what it was. But, um, I think I'll... You know, I think it might have been Shadowrun. I'm not quite sure. But I'm stuck between those two because they're two very different RPGs. And I think we could have fun playing either one of them. But, you know, just... I suppose it's a little too soon to call that kind of a decision anyway. So, not like I really need to worry about it. Chaz just got punched like a little girl and he's hurt pretty bad so let's heal him up really quick uh, I'm pretty sure this is this dungeon's gonna come to no avail because for some reason these people don't like to listen to Raja and can't realize that the problem is coming from the Gerbic Tower uh, let's go over here holy crap Ola you know I'm gonna use some group attacks here because you know what I am tired of fighting all these enemies so we're going to just use some group attacks here and hopefully wipe them out. You can just do that. I probably should have healed Raja there because he's like one shot from being murdered. There we go, that worked out well though. 
And man, they're giving a butt ton of experience and money, so this might be a good place to just stick around in. And, um, level up a bit. Again with these guys. Oh, you guys. Now I'm gonna use Air Slash because I didn't get to do that last time. And hopefully that'll take care of all of them. Oh, Ren, you suck. Your mother was a woman of ill repute. <laughs> if you don't know what that means, by the way, ill repute means she was a whore. So... <laughs> not taking too much terrible damage here, but we're not doing fantastic either. And I say then I get shot in the face and Chaz falls dead right there. <laughs> Uh, taking unnecessary amounts of damage here, but I'm pretty sure we're close to the end here. I got some sort of weird armor, I'm gonna guess once again, for Ren. Because it's always just full of mechanical crap in these dungeons. And it's always for the mechanical dude. Let's see here. Rika's hurt bad, so let's heal her up big time. And the rest of you can just use a quick SAR. There we go. Alright. Is there any treasure on the other side? No, there's no treasure on the other side. So let's just head on up. I'm pretty sure this is it. This is up. Uh, uh oh, who's that? Boss time! Ha 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 ha! You dolts! How foolhardy you are to come here! Morons! This was just a trap! Ha 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 ha! Hmph! It seems like a waste to dirty our hands with stupid people like you. But being just a vessel that takes orders, I'll just have to do it. Wait, you said orders? But we've beaten Zeo and Dark Force. Whose orders are you acting on? You defeated him? The D Great Dark Force? Ha 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 ha! Oh, he literally did literally say ha 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 ha! Ridiculous! <laughs> I love these stupid villains. Okay, well, we're officially facing a boss here, so I'm not gonna wanna screw around here. I'm probably gonna wanna defend myself and arm up. So I'm going to. He's just gonna cast my butt. She's going to cast Shift like she always does. He's going to tangle that son of a gun. And we're going to go with Blessing. Again, this is more of a defensive round more than anything else. Boosting defensive round. Hopefully that neg negates most of his attacks. 410 points of damage is always nice. Rune is almost dead. Ow. And we're back on the offensive here with um, Ren. Air sla uh, cross cut, I mean. She's going to cast Shift on herself as she's the ma main attacker. He is going to... I don't remember what this spell does. I always think it sucked if I remember correctly. <laughs> so, let's see if we can take this guy out, shall we? It looks like this episode will finish up the side dungeon. What the... What? What? <laughs> what just happened? <laughs> hey, all that crap talking and he dropped dead just like that? Are you kidding me? <laughs> Blast! This bothers me! It was talking like that creep Dark Force is still alive! Yeah. Jazz, there's nothing wrong with the climate control system. So it really was a snare. See, just like I said, we have to go to the Guruvik Tower! Are you saying something else is causing the abnormalities and does all this? Ah, oh, balls. Well, alrighty then, I'm gonna get the hell out of here. That was... Uh, it wasn't super exciting. It, it, we still have a little bit of time here left. I, I feel gypped. I feel like that boss fight was supposed to be more epic. I, oh, go back to Penguin Town here. I think that's what I call this place from now on, Penguin Town. I'll have to head back into that dungeon a little later and make sure I can clear out all the, the treasure. I'll inform you if I find anything fantastic, but like I said, I don't think I'm going to. Um. All right, let's get back in our ice digger here. Where's that at? Let's go. Let's go west here, maybe, I guess, right? Yeah, maybe, yes. What's going on over here? Driving around, I'm kind of lost. Martyr, you're derping on the screen again. I know, thank you. And uh, I don't know exactly where the hell I am, so... <laughs> Maybe this episode will end with just me driving around in circles. You guys would love to see that, won't you? That's always terribly exciting. Or maybe I can edit it out. <laughs> I don't do any editing, you know that. If you've watched this channel at all, that is. Uh, okay, could you please die? Ow! Ow! 
Did you die? Thank you. Jeez, a friggin' wheeze. Hope you heal up for the next battle. Okay, so apparently there's absolutely nothing over here. Nothing at all. What a waste of time. And we're getting hot. These birds are hawking loogies on us. Hawking. Stupid birds. Go away. Nobody likes you. You're adopted. Uh, we went this way. There's nothing. Okay, so there's definitely nothing to the west. <laughs> Let's go south. Uh, run, retreat. There you go. Thank you. Nothing to the south. <laughs> so far, big dull dud. There has to be something around here, though. Something of use. And I made my way back to Tyler. <laughs> well, I know what you're thinking, Martyr. You've driven around in a circle, you boob. And you would be correct. I have driven around in a complete turtle circle. I apologize. Let's, um... Napalm has shot these guys. They should die in a shot. Hopefully we can find out where we're supposed to go here. Usually these things are pretty direct, I thought, you know? I thought these things usually show me where to go. That's where we were last time, so let's head more east. Yeah, there's a town there, and holy crap, Ola! Lots of these things, which these things could lead to our untimely death if we're not careful. Which is why I did that, by the way, because that guy's guy could have hurt us pretty bad. And is this another town? This is... What the hell? Did I just walk into the Walking Dead? Um... Zombies? <laughs> uh, where's Rick Grimes? I need Rick Grimes to help me. Uh, are you in there? I don't know. These guys will probably get destroyed by Saints Fire. Uh, what's going on here? We're facing zombies all of a sudden. Wasn't expecting that at all. Maybe we'll stop. Whoa, wee. Just a town full of zombies. I wonder what's going on. Whoa, it is a buttload of damage. Well, it's a flame sword versus zombies. I guess that makes total makes a lot of sense. I don't know what's going on here. Zombies. This is a town full of zombies. This town's destroyed. No regularities, really. This is terrible! So far we keep getting the drop on these zombies. Though, so they're getting killed pretty easily. My elemental weaponry isn't really doing me any good here. Oh well. Not like they're hard to kill though. Maybe we'll end it here. I don't know exactly what's going on. Didn't expect to run into a town full of zombies. But boy is there a lot of them. I wonder what happens if one of them hits us. Do they zombify us? What happens here? Do I become a zombie? <laughs> That's my zombie noise, by the way. If you didn't catch that. Alright, let's get back into the ice digger. You know what? I think we might just call it here. I mean, we finished a side dungeon. We found a town full of zombies, so I can't really complain. So yeah, we'll, we'll leave it off here. Uh, as always, if there's a game you want me to play, tweet at me at martyr a to j and we will see you next time when I drive around a little bit and figure out where the hell I'm at. <laughs> Alright, see you next time.